One twenty-three and forty seconds. In every control room of every nuclear reactor in the world, there is a button with one single purpose. To scram or instantly shut down the reaction. In Soviet reactors, that button is called AZ-5. You press AZ-5, all of the control rods insert at once, and the reaction is stopped dead. But... Tiatlov broke every rule we have. He pushed a reactor to the brink of destruction. He did these things believing there was a failsafe. AZ-5, a simple button to shut it all down, but in the circumstances he created, there wasn't. The shutdown system had a fatal flaw. At 1.2340, Akimov engages AZ-5. Fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not the tips. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. Why? Why? It's cheaper. The first part of the rods that enter the core are the graphite tips, and when they do, the reaction in the core, which had been rising, skyrockets. Every last molecule of liquid water instantly converts to steam, which expands and ruptures a series of fuel rod channels. The control rods in those channels can move no further. The graphite tips are fixed in position, endlessly accelerating the reaction. Chernobyl Reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. The pressure inside the core can no longer be held back. At long last, we have arrived. 123.45, explosion. In the instant the lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete. 